Welcome back to the channel. This is a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So all that I need to know about uh, your person, your situation right from now until let's take the 20th of the month. Hope you guys are doing well. First card we have for you is a star card. You may want to find or rediscover a sense of meaning, inspiration or purpose in your life right now. You are making some significant changes in your life, transforming yourself from the old you to the new you. And in doing so, you are bringing about a fresh perspective. Out with the old and in with the new. You are choosing the highest version of yourself. This is a profound spiritual journey that will bring greater meaning and purpose into your life and will renew your inner energy. Strip back any limiting beliefs and live in your authentic self. Be open to new ideas and growth and listen to your inner voice. What it means is you want to let go of your past chapter and be uh, more optimistic about what's coming in your life next. You want to uh, move forward with a positive attitude. What else do we have? With Page of Wands, many of you guys could be now wanting to start communication or really start something new. It, does, it doesn't have to be with the past person. This could be someone who is brand new, someone who has just got your attention. Okay. But you are definitely wanting to uh, be open. Uh, okay. You want to keep your options open. You, I mean, you want to get out there. Okay. What else do we see? With Five of Cups, yes. Uh, you. Some of you guys haven't quite moved on from your past chapter. But with Five of Cups, this uh, past situation still blocks you from completely being 100% open okay to situations or to new relationships okay you you still get gloomy thinking about how things should have been or could have been okay yet with the full card you want to take your shots you want to take your chances and if you guys in the past could have taken um you know like numerous chances towards the past person but for whatever reason they did not give in okay so what else do we have for sagittarius with Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it seemed like you guys did not have luck when it came to the past connection. Every time uh, you guys got uh, together and things were working well, suddenly something happened that broke the two of you again. Okay, like it wasn't just not meant to be. Okay, what else do we have? Like with the devil card, your person could be having addictions. This could be substance abuse or this could be just the person wasn't very loyal to you or did not uh, uh, keep the commitment. Okay. What else do we have? With five of wands, the person kept bringing up complications in the connection, kept bringing up drama in the connection. They uh, had their options open. They gave their attention to other people and that messed up the connection. That uh, really damaged the connection. Okay. In terms of their energy, with Hangman the reverse, this this person seems to be all over the place. Okay, they are neither focused on you, neither are they looking towards something else. Okay, they are all over the place. With Ten of Cups, in the past they could have given you an idea that they might want something permanent with you. But, you know, uh, it, it it never uh, got to full circle. You know, they, they seem to be giving you empty promises. Okay, what else do we have? Some of you, this person could have been already married or had a connection elsewhere. And they are not willing to get out of it. Okay, take what resonates in your case. But now this person is uh, again, you know, uh, like wanting you to wait or possibly give them more time. Okay. The judgment card. In the past, many of you guys wanted to decide on this person, but now is the time that you finally make that decision. It's It's been too long. This person has been in and out, plus they've been keeping options, okay? In terms of what do they want with you? With Four of Swords, in the past, they did take a brief break from you, and they did try a few other connections, but none of which worked for them, okay? In terms of their major emotions for you, In terms of emotions with Queen of Cups, if you're asking me, they still have a strong attachment to you. They do have strong feelings for you. Okay, then why are they not coming forward if that's the case? What with the Tower card, this person always messes things up, always does something intentionally or unintentionally that really, you know, ends the connection, really disturbs the connection. Okay, so in terms of their major intentions towards you,
Ajo intention is to keep this connection going with you, but in bits and pieces like breadcrumbing. But Ace of Pentacles, they do want to give you that hope that yes, this can somehow work. You want to keep uh, this faith going that they can work the things out with you. With the Eight of Wands, you can expect a message pretty soon. Some of you guys might have heard from them, uh, like, you know, a New Year wish or a Christmas wish, but this person does want to keep in contact with you in terms of their major intentions when it comes to the relationship. With the Eight of Cups, this person is wanting to promise you that they are wanting to get rid of the toxicity that is affecting this connection. Say, suppose they were part of something which, uh, you know, you do not know about, be it a third party or drinking habits or, you know, just uh, cheating ways. Then they are wanting to get rid of that. Okay. If they want to come off clean. What else? The Eight of Pentacles, they seriously want to put in that effort or they will decide of, you know, like putting in that effort to making things work with you. What else? In terms of what are they wanting to offer. But Six of Cups, they consider you a soulmate and they really want to tell you that they are willing to fix this connection with you, to participate uh, like in this connection, to give in, to see to it that the connection somehow survives. Okay, like what's their plan going to be coming forward versus what can you expect? Plan is going to be to be straightforward with you, honest with you, tell you as to what was happening. They don't want to keep any secrets from you now. Besides that, what else? You you can expect this person to make a move towards you pretty soon. Okay, by the 10th at least you should be hearing from them. If, if like if not in the next uh, couple of days. Okay, with two of cups, they haven't forgotten you. They haven't lost their feelings for you. So what is the major blockage? What keeps getting in the way, Spirit? Ten of Swords. This person has ne never been a part of a long-term connection. Okay. And uh, every time they are supposed to be taking in responsibility, uh, supposed to be, you know, uh, there for you, they mess things up. Okay. Uh, they are not very good with their promises, with their words. Okay. What else? But uh, like eight of swords, they they have their inner fear that blocks them. They do not feel uh, like they are worthy of a relationship or a commitment. They know that they'll mess it up somehow. They do not believe in themselves. It's not you. It's them. Okay. But the emperor in the reverse, it's like they believe they do not have a control over themselves. Okay. I do not know if they've told you this, but that's what I see and believe. The Empress, uh, they look at you as someone who is worthy, as, as someone who is way above their league, as someone who they really wish to have, but cannot have because they are not at your level. Okay, they have a lot of work to do to still be getting at your level. Okay, so where is this going till the 20th of the month? But Death card, you, you can expect a lot of changes, but in terms of getting together, what can we expect? Nine of Swords. This person still stresses you. This person is still on your mind. But the uh, like Hermit card. Many of you guys might decide of blocking them finally. Okay, but in in terms of the action, what can you expect? Chariot. Seven of Wands. If they have blocked you, this person will surely unblock you. However, with Seven of Pentacles and King of Cups, they will take a lot of time before fixing things. So you cannot expect a high positive change coming. The Chariot reversed is a warning that you are letting obstacles and challenges get in the way, preventing you from achieving what you set out to do. It's all getting too hard and you don't have the will to go on it. Fear of conflict is so powerful that many of you guys might finally decide of giving up on this connection because it just seems tough and meaningless to you now and it has been going on for so long without even giving you a positive outcome. So many of you guys might finally decide of quitting out. But messages, let's see. Stray connection not to be taken seriously, move on. The universe wants to tell you that there are better things coming up for you. It's it's time for you to seriously consider something else. Okay. Past disappointments, jealousy, unhealed relationships, fearful. And this person has their own issues to deal with. It's not you. It's their own issues that they they keep getting in the way and blocking the connection. Okay. 
and uh, what else do we have not as good as it seems or looks not promising loopholes you just know that i don't need to tell you this that there are a lot of loopholes in the situation okay and you trigger them unexpected feelings they do have feelings for you but what good are feelings if the person does not uh, hold on to their words right uh, do not keep on to their promises so yes that is all we have for the sign of Sagittarius, if it resonated, do hit the like button, do let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, and if you want a personal reading, do let me know in the comment section or directly move on to Etsy and book a reading for yourself. We have 15% discount going on. Thank you fucking so much.